You guys are in great company right now. If you can't tell, there's someone mowing the lawn outside, which is just really just wonderful. We love that. So as you guys know, or probably know, I moved. I have moved. I am no longer living in my childhood bedroom of my parents' house. I am now living in my parents' basement. Adult moves, baby. Come on, we're moving up in the world, but really I'm moving down in the world. Technically, yeah. I moved into my parents' basement. <laughs> How lavish, what a beautiful sentence to say. That being said, I now have some extra things to be buying outside of my normal clothing hauls. So I'm gonna be going over some of the items or all of the items I've picked up for the basement so far. They're not bigger ticket items. I already had like a couch, TV, kitchen table, dresser, bed, yada, yada, yada. So it's not bigger items, it's more so decor pieces. And this video should be sponsored by Target because I'm literally just gonna go on my Target app, scroll and redo everything I bought because that's, who has furnished my basement or decorated my basement. Like I just paid my bills yesterday and 80% of what I spent last month was from Target for the basement. And it's kind of a stressful time, guys. I don't like freaking spending money, but I'm spending money. So I'm at least gonna make a video about it. I'm gonna show you some of the things or all of the things I've picked up so far that I like for the basement. If you guys like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. And let's get into the video. <laughs> so let me just pull out my super handy dandy Tarjay app and we're just gonna start with it, okay guys? The first two things I picked up for my basement were appliances. I'm an adult, this is an adulthood. So I picked up a um, toaster from Tarjay. I need to stop that from Target. Just a Cuisinart two slice toaster in white. Great toaster, it was cheap, it does the job. Don't know what else to say to you guys. I wanted white appliances just so the kitchen looked clean. So that's why I picked that up. And then I also got a white blender from KitchenAid. This wasn't from Target, plot twist, but I got a white KitchenAid from KitchenAid.com. And I use this for making smoothies. Really love it so far, it's white fits all the criteria. And then I also got a lamp from Target. It's the Cantilever Drop Pendant Floor Lamp Antique Bronze from Threshold from Target. This is a super, oh, my cat, Toby, Tops. <laughs> Tops. He was getting into things. I got this lamp for the living room. I got it because my sister had it and I loved it. I guess, you know, I'm bad at styling things. So uh, literally whenever I buy something, I ask my mom and sister for permission before purchasing and spending my money on it. They liked it, so I was like, you know what? If they like it, it's good enough for me. And I really like it. It's kind of farmhouse, you know, that's the thing. It's like, it creates a nice little reading nook on the corner of the couch, so I like it. The next thing I got from Target was the comforter I'm sitting on right this moment. Upstairs, I had just like a cheap Amazon comforter and it was great, it was cheap because Toby, um, <laughs> should I be saying this on the internet? I don't know, he used to pee on my bed a lot. He's grown out of it, um, he's potty trained now and he doesn't do that anymore, knock on wood. So I had a cheap ass one upstairs, but this one I spent a little bit more money on and it's super nice. Um, it's a little bit textured, so it doesn't wrinkle crinkle as much. It holds up better, holds its shape better. It's easier to put the duvet inside of it. It has little strings to wrap around the edges of the duvet to help you with loading it in. And then we also got this, I don't even know what the hell this is called, okay guys? This comforter, topper, quilt for on top of the duvet cover, just to add some pizzazz. So we also got that from Target, just to, you know, make the room a little bit more put together. I still need a freaking bed frame, don't have one. So, in case you were wondering. Doo -doo -doo -hoo -hoo. The next things I got for the basement were pillows for the couch. So the couch, thank God, Matt already had the couch and the TV from his old apartment, so we didn't have to buy a couch or a TV, which are two expensive items. So we just needed some pillows to make the couch look better. My mom helped me and picked out these pillows for me. She told me to get two big pillows and two smaller pillows. She also told me to get more pillows on top of that, but like I'm not here for it, not trying to spend my entire salary in pillows. Pillows are a lot more expensive than you would think. It's kind of absurd. Got some pillows for the couch. I do like them. I try not to use them too much. They're more like an item that serves no purpose other than to look nice. So when I actually lay on the couch, I use my pillows from the bed. Let me know in the comments below. Am I supposed to use decorative pillows on the on the sofa? 
how does adulting work? Cause I don't freaking know. The next thing I got was I got some baskets that my mom also picked out. She told me they would look nice. So my mom is loving this whole basement move because she loves picking out furniture and accessories and decor, but she's getting to pick them out and I just pay for them with my money. So it's like a win-win situation for her, lose-lose for me because I hate shopping for decor and I hate spending money. I got these baskets. I think they look nice. I put two, or my mom put two at the entryway table and two in the living room. They don't really hold anything right now. Okay, I don't have the funds to buy things to put in the basket. That's just a lot. So we're going with the bare minimum right now. I got some baskets. And everything I've mentioned so far is from Target. It's actually quite absurd. So pro tip, if you're gonna be shopping for at Target a lot, get yourself a freaking red card from Target because you get 5% off of every single thing that you buy. So I've saved. I don't wanna tell you how much I saved. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because then you know how much I have spent, but I have saved a significant amount with my Target red card. I also got drapes and a drape holder for the bedroom window. They have not been put up yet. Right now, Courtney, my sister and her husband lived in the basement. So some of their stuff is still down here. Her drapes are still hanging up right now. So I haven't hung them up yet, but I got them and they had good reviews. Something I'm like the most excited for. I have been waiting two months for this item. It is the most beautiful mirror I've been waiting to get for my bedroom. I picked it out all myself. My mom didn't pick it out. I'm very proud of myself. So that means it'll probably show up and be awful, but who knows? I got this mirror from Target. It's like huge. It's like 30 inches by 70 inches. It's gonna be on the side of the bed. It'll open the bedroom up a little bit. And I really like it. I mean, it hasn't come in the mail yet, but I'm hoping it'll come intact because this freaking thing sells out in a second. I was literally on my phone the second I got a notification from Target. So I got it right away. Then like two minutes later, I checked and it was sold out. So I'm excited to get it in. I'm hoping it's not broken because I can't be waiting another two months. Aside from that, I also got a picture frame for the bathroom that my mom sent to me and told me to buy. It does not have any pictures in it. No, no pictures. I have like so many picture frames sitting around the house right now that have emptiness or like the stock picture that came with it. It's really, it's incredible. It looks nice. I need to get pictures for it. I also got this white porcelain, maybe it's not porcelain. Okay, I'm being a little bougie right now. This what it says porcelain, oh my God. It was on sale. It's a porcelain serving bowl from Target Threshold. I just put, use it as a fruit basket in the kitchen. It's a nice little accessory. Makes it look like you know what you're doing. And I picked that all out myself. I am shocked that I'm at the last item right now. That is truly incredible. Either I spoke really fast or $800 really adds up fast. So I got a entryway table for our foyer in the basement. It is the, 30 inch Burke trestle wooden horizontal bookshelf natural from Threshold. It was like half the price of another one I wanted. So I liked it enough to get it. It was like 150 bucks. It makes the room have some character. This is where the basket is on. And it's a nice little entrance to our basement. It fits perfectly on the wall. Matt put it together. I can't tell you from personal experience, but I don't think it was too hard to put together. And what we really need is something to put above it. I wanna put like a mirror above it. Right now it's like <laughs> artwork from Matt's old apartment. So Matt's old apartment had like a picture of the world and it was in three different segments. And right now the middle segment is just hanging up on the wall and we need something to put there. I'm kind of cool with what the basement looks like now. We definitely need some more things. Like we really need a coffee table for the living room, but do I feel like spending the money on that right now? I don't know. So I do need more stuff for the basement. It's not completely finished. Wait a minute, stop what you're doing. I cannot believe I forgot two of the most exciting items in my basement to show you guys. Also, please note, I am using my decorative pillow right now. I'm being very bad, but anyways, I have two more items to show you. I can't believe I forgot. Plus I'll show you some stuff from Amazon after these two items, but I just had to interject and include these two items. They are very important. The first thing I got are these large ceramic lamp bases from Target. You'll see a trend. Literally everything I get from Target is from the line threshold. But anyways, I got two of these and then you had to get the lampshade separately. So I just got, you know, the lampshade that comes with it typically. And I got it for both sides of the bed. So I bought two lamp bases, two lampshades, and then here's the close up 
thick. I really like them and I feel like they really help bring the room together. And then the second item I forgot to tell you about is my desk from World Market. I got it because my sister had it and I liked it. But this is a awesome desk and I've never had a desk this long. I can do so many things on it at once. Such a big girl desk, such an adult, go me. But here it is in the space tubby, just jumping on it. It's one of his favorite things to do. But this desk has functional drawers and it has a little slide out extender on both sides of it. I really like this desk. I've been using it for work and for just whenever I need a desk and I highly recommend. I'm also gonna peruse the Amazoniums because I literally the two places I bought stuff for this apartment basement was Amazon and Target. So let's look at Amazon and see what I've bought from there. Isn't he cute? Oh. So what we bought from Amazon is we got some bed sheets. They were just super affordable bed sheets that my sister told me all the influencers recommended and theme of this video. I asked my mom and sister for advice with furnishing because I don't trust myself. So we got the Melanie bed sheet set and I have no complaints right now. It has a fitted sheet, a regular sheet, I don't know, terminology, and two pillowcases, and they're super soft, and I like them, so I recommend. And then we also got the bed skirt from Amazon. It was just a simple white bed skirt, and it had good reviews, so we picked it up. I didn't even think about picking up a bed skirt, but my mom, of course, noticed that the bedroom was missing one, so we got one. The last thing that I picked up are placemats for the kitchen. So it's a glass table and me being lazy, I don't want to clean the glass table every time we eat, but I also don't want to have our dirty glass table. So I got kitchen mats so I don't have to clean every single time we eat. Pro tip, and these are kitchen mats that I found on Amazon. I just like searched, found good ratings, sent them to my mom and she approved, so I bought them. I am shocked that is all that I bought to be honest with you because it's really been a lot of money. I will have another video like with a finished apartment basement tour if you guys are interested. If you wanna see anything else, if you have any advice for furnishing, let me know in the description. Why do I say description? The comments below. <laughs> if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, guys. I've been on YouTube for like 15 months now, which is wild. So I really appreciate all of your support. I'm not planning on going anywhere, so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I'm not. So please make sure to like and subscribe if you liked it. I upload videos every single Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you know where to find me. So I will see you guys next week. Peace out, bye haters, peace.